Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. I am once again going to try to land at that second stop on the curb wide tour. And the Weasley didn't work out for me last time. The Weasley is uh, a little bit underpowered. Uh, I mean, it can work, it can get there, and we have plenty of fuel to do a vertical landing with it. It's just, actually, last time the problem was that we didn't have any lights and we arrived in the dark. I probably could have made this work out if we just weren't in the dark. So, yeah, in that way, it's probably a good design and it's just a matter of me being impatient and I don't want to fly at 100 meters per second the whole way through. So, yeah, I mean, but maybe I should just consider that. Uh, it might be safer to just go slow and more efficiently. But yeah, this is 100%, 100% and has more area. So maybe what we really want is this instead of the fancy schmancy intakes. But then it looks like that. <laughs> so then we have a visual problem. Yeah, then it just doesn't look quite good. Well, let's see if I can tweak that a little bit. I don't know if that makes any difference as far as our speed is concerned. At least it's slightly lighter. But there are two possibilities. One, we slap some extra little engines, these whittles on the side of the Weasley. And we can use the slots occupied by these nose cones. But the other is we can use the Panther. But, you know, the Panther says that its afterburning thrust is 130 kilonewtons. The Weasley claims to have had 120 kilonewtons. It doesn't seem like the Panther alone would be that much better. Then again, the Whiplash sure got us going a lot faster. And it says 132. Uh, they all say 120, 130, but get very different results. So what am I going to do with this? I don't trust any of them. I don't think Panthers will be enough. But if we put two Panthers, having two VTOL Panthers and two Panthers in the back sure seems like a lot of dry mass. I don't think we need the air brakes. Trying to get these to point straight, but that might not be a good idea. Okay, but obviously we need to double check the center of everything. Right, the center of mass has been pulled back by a lot, by a lot, thanks to that. Okay, so if those aren't firing and these are empty and we have no tip tanks, that's pretty good. As it drains, that's still pretty good. So that's no problem. But yeah, now we're carrying an extra 0.6 tons compared to the Whiplash version. Well, I don't like the look of that, but these are definitely pulling the center of mass back. Starlight 3. This is probably overcompensating for the fact that when I tried it with the Weasleys, or the Weasley, we only have one. Tried it with the Weasley, we were going too slowly. Putting two Weasleys in the back would be a bad idea because it's three tons in the back there. But it would probably get us to a decent speed. I think we'll, we're going to go with this, but we should action group the afterburning on those. But that has to be separate from the afterburning on the VTOL. Okay, well, in theory, that'll work. Yeah, we just want those first. We're not going to be taking off in VTOL mode. We're heavier, though. It's going to be tougher to take off. Will this get to our target location? We're going to be guzzling fuel a lot more now. Hmm. Well, let's see how it flies. 
Oh, I forgot. This side needs to have the crossfeed enabled. I missed that last time. Okay, up we go. Uh, Alright, we are off. It's a little bit tail heavy. Well, it certainly climbs better than the Weasley version. So, once again, we are trying to get to there. See there, where our debris is? Because we we smacked into it a little bit hard on the last try. Yeah, that's where we're trying to get to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move from move move fuel from these tanks forward again because it's a little bit tail heavy like that. Well, I'm I, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a oh, not like that. No, nope, not what I meant to do. Oh no, that is what I meant. To do. Okay. Uh, give myself a little bit of a boost here. I hope we can not super cruise, but at least cruise better, but I want to get to a better height right now. This transonic drag. Uh... We're not getting past the speed of sound, but we sort of didn't expect to anyway. Okay, let me try to switch modes again. So in cruise mode up here, can we still go a decent speed? With the efficiency? Whoa, 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 apparently not. Okay, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> apparently this is trouble. Okay, so let me just. Mm, okay, no, down, down. Stop trying to stall. Can't quite get rid of the tip tanks yet. Okay, dumping the tip tanks. Um, if I can. Okay, well, let me just make sure these are off off and then dumping the tip, tip tanks. Okay. Off they go. trimming this is a bit hard to handle and I'm not even in fizz work trying to trim it out properly I don't think we can sustain this sort of thing we'll need to try and go into cruise mode for efficiency I just want to get there in daylight can I do that? Getting there with fuel would be a good thing too. Okay, well at least we're a little bit more stable now. Am I getting closer? <laughs> and other horrible questions. This isn't that much faster than the Weasley when we're operating on cruise mode. Well, a lot of things will make me go faster. It's just the uh, temporary nature of that speed that's the problem. I feel like maybe they're not getting their full thrust or something. I don't know. Doesn't tell me whether they or starred for air or something. I mean, the air here says maybe a little bit low, but not horrible. 
Last time I tried to get the VTOL there, I wanted to keep some horizontal velocity so that we'd maintain control using the aerodynamic surfaces. This time, I don't think we have enough space for that having seen the site. So I might do a more pure VTOL sort of situation. Okay, in the interest of getting better sunlight at the location, I'm going to try and uh, pour on the gas here. Uh, we're getting there. Once I see the little 50 kilometer marker, we can sort of go back into cruise mode, I think. I think we've got enough sunlight. Oh, there it is. Okay, switching modes again. Okay, well, we have to do a sort of fidgety thing here. Um, that's not the one. That's the bottom one. Ah, there... I'm bringing the VTOL engines online here. Okay, they're both symmetrically limited. Okay, that's fine then. Okay, that default name is where we crash, so I don't want to go there. I don't know. I think maybe I should just try and sit down here. Oh, no, no, not again! No, EVA, EVA. Okay. 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 Get out of there. Kick it. Kick it. Okay. I'm going to try and switch vessels. No vessel control. No, I can't do anything with it. Come on, come on, Bill. You're an engineer. You're an engineer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and time. Darn it, why doesn't something glitch during time warp? That's not right. That should always happen. Oh, 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 yep, yep, you got, yep, 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 come on, oh, come on, you were doing so well. What if Bill is bounded by the collider of the flap? Well, what if I say grab, actually? Okay, we've got grab. Climb out. Oh, okay, that worked. Haha! -ha. It's gonna be a long trip in the middle of a forest, but here we go. Okay, well it still says Kerbin Mountains. We're supposed to do a crew observation. Don't tell me it's supposed to be at the top. Is 
getting close enough is good enough, right? Okay, no, the stargazer point. Here we go. Phew. It's going like I don't have to be at the top, do I? All right. Well, run the surface survey while we're here, I suppose. Okay, I think we got the sample. So let us recover, Bill. And this uh, area has been the ruin of many a vessel. Uh, there's a lot of dots now. Okay, so submit. Is there another one? Most beautiful view in all of Kerbin. I don't know, it's surrounded by hills. It's tough to get a good view of things. Oh, tour is over. Okay. Alright, so that's the end of the tour. Alright, so we don't have to deal with Kerbin anymore. Um, Moho, Ilu, or Gilly? Moho is a little bit too far forward. Ilu... I think it's gonna be Ilu. Eve could catch up. Let's see, uh, let me just focus on Kerbin. I think we need to get rid of all the debris that we've caused by crashing planes into the surface. I think it's a little bit laggy. That's about an Elu window, and it is before the Eve window. So we're going to try to go to Elu. What are we trying to do on Elu? We're driving a rover onto, onto the frozen tsunami.